Hey everyone, it's Nicole. Welcome back to my channel, Relax Cut Glue. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you here with me today. So if you're a Glue Crew member, you will have already seen some of these ATCs or at least the background ATCs. Um, I planned on making these artist trading cards last week but I've been sick and so that's why I haven't posted in a few days but anywho here I am showing you I did neurographic art on some ATCs and ATCs are artist trading cards they are two and a half inches by three and a half inches and they're just little pieces of art that you can use any medium any object, whatever, as long as it's two and a half by three and a half, and then you can trade them with people all around the world. There are Facebook groups that you can join, um, all kinds of stuff. You can trade with your buddies, that kind of thing. So I love artist trading cards, and I think they're amazing, and they're fun little bits of art to work on. So I took some cardstock, and I cut them up into my two and a half by three and a half, and then I just added some watercolors on them, and some of them I went over twice just to brighten up the colors. And then I did neurographic art on top. If you don't know what neurographic art I ha is, I have a video of that. My last video actually um, was all about that. So you can find that in um, my playlist. So I decided when I was doing these neurographic ATCs that I wanted to use some colored pens, not just black. And I really like the way it looks. It makes the colors pop. And you'll see here that I obviously picked the brightest colored ones because those are my favorite. The ones that have pinks and teals and yellows and oranges and blues and purples and that kind of stuff. Um, I really like those colors. And so I ended up completing one, two, three, four, five. One I just slapped a sticker on because I just liked it plain like that. And... Um, we will kind of see here. I'm going to go through all of these with you. Shermie's here sleeping in the background. I would have recorded and uh, talked through this at the same time, but Jackson, this is his last week of school. In fact, tomorrow actually is his last day of school. It's finals week, so he only had one class he had to go to today. So he was home and he was cooking in the kitchen and watching a movie and he's not my quieter kid. So <laughs> I just decided to do a voiceover today. Um, so what I did is I went through my like magazine cutouts and stuff. And I looked for smaller images that were bright in color. Not all of them um, are. And I just tried to find things that would fit. And I put probably each and every one of these objects on every single one of these ATCs. And the good part, and it's also kind of the bad part, is when you do multiple colors like this, I just feel like so many things look awesome on it. And it was hard for me to choose. Now this one that I'm doing right here happens to end up being my favorite one and you'll see why at the end. <laughs> um, so yeah, here's just me putting together some ATCs, neurographic art ATCs, and I use stickers and sayings, Tim Holtz sticker sayings and magazine cutouts and some inks. And I guess watercolors, you can count, I used watercolors for the backgrounds and just normal uh, pens, like Sharpie, but different color Sharpies for the neurographic art part. So what's going on with me? In two days, I will be going to the beach with my mother and then my aunt, my mom's sister, will be joining us later. This weekend is my parents' wedding anniversary, and as you can imagine, it's going to be a bit of a tough weekend um, for my mom. And then it's also Father's Day, so it's going to be a tough weekend for my mom, or for my sister and I. You know, obviously this is our first Father's Day without our dad. He just uh, passed away not even two months ago. So um, my mom asked me to go and kind of keep her company and we're not bringing any dogs. This will be the first time my mom and I were talking about it. This will be the first time that we've ever gone to the beach um, and not had responsibilities, i.e. husbands, kids, dogs. And this is my brother-in-law's family beach house and 
my sister's mother-in-law is so gracious to us and always lets us use it. And it's a huge family, um, how do I want to say it? For us, it's a great place for our family every year. We go a couple times a year to have family vacations because it's big enough for my sister's family, my family, and my parents, and now just my mom, obviously. So, oh, I have to step in for this ATC. So I had this cat's licking his lips. So I stuck this little burger up there and I decided to use my Posca pen to make little like bubbles. Like it's thinking about the burger and my Posca pen did the thing where it like leaked and made huge puddles. So I'll have to go back and fix those once they dry. And that's my little Golden Girls pencil case that Melissa got me. I think two years ago, maybe last year. I'm not sure. Um, thank you, Melissa. I keep my Poscas in it. <laughs> um, so anyways, so that's that. I'll be going there for a little less than a week. And that'll be, it'll be hard, but it'll also be some girl time. And I've never like gone anywhere with my mom alone. So I'm actually really excited about it because I love my mom. Um, what else is going on? Today is the f day, I think it's the 14th, correct? Yes. Today is the day that my husband and I started dating two decades ago. Um, so that's exciting. And let's see what, oh, Stephanie, I wanted to tell you. So Stephanie in my Facebook group and a subscriber, she posted in my Facebook group the other day about Hall & Oates, the music group, and how there used to be a phone number that you could call and listen to Hall & Oates songs. I think it was only four of them. And so she checked the number and it it still works. Okay, so I told Stephanie that I would tell the story as to why that was odd to me that she posted that in my Facebook group. Um, not because it's not craft related, but something that's really um, special to my family actually is Hall & Oates. We would go camping every year as our vacation, my sister and my parents and I, and we had a boat and we would go tubing and water skiing and we had this place that we always went and they had these coves and we would, you know, play in the water all day in the boat and go for a boat ride and stuff. But then we would go to the cove and we would shut the boat off and just float around in this beautiful cove and listen to Hall & Oates. <laughs> Our boat has a tape deck in it. <laughs> and we would put in the Hall & Oates tape and we would just relax. My parents would either take a nap or sunbathe and my sister and I would jump off the boat, swim around, jump back, you know, get back in. Maybe we wanted to lay around, but it was just a very peaceful, calming time for my family. And we've been, we did that every year, like growing up. So Hall & Notes is a very special um, group for my family. It just makes us think of family time. I know that sounds so funny, but um, my parents, you know, they love music and we grew up listening to awesome music. And so anyway, Stephanie, that's what I think is so funny that you would post that right, you know, during this time when my father just passed and just totally random thing that you posted in my Facebook group. And I told my mom and I'm like, gosh, that's so weird that you would post that because when Hall & Oates comes on, on the radio, as a matter of fact, today, when I dropped Jackson off at school, Maneater started playing and I had like a little jam car karaoke sesh on my way back from dropping Jackson off. And that's happened a few times since my dad has passed. I've gotten in the car and Hall & Oates starts playing. So... I just thought that was really interesting. I'm a huge Hall & Oates fan too, Stephanie, and that's why I wanted to tell you the story. I would have told you in my Facebook group, but I talked too much and I couldn't type all that out. Too exhausting. <laughs> Another weird thing is, Stephanie, um, you live, and don't tell in the comments where you live, um, because, you know, there's crazy people in the world, but you live in the exact neighborhood that I grew up in. Like, girl, blocks away. Not even joking. Um... So anyways, I just thought that was really interesting that not only does she live where I grew up, but then she posted this. I don't know. I just, I'm a really um, big on, there's no such thing as coincidences. And I, you know, every little thing that reminds me of my dad makes me happy. So I just thought that was really neat. Okay. What else is going on? Oh, I have to tell you this. So, so <laughs> Jackson this morning comes out 
And he's like, I had a dream. I'm like, okay, Martin Luther King. Um, I have a dream. I had a dream last night that I bought this $300,000 home and it was a mansion. And I'm like, first of all, a $300,000 home here <laughs> would be a shack. I mean, our house, geez, they go for a lot here. Um, anyways, but not like, you know, California or New York or anything, but houses are expensive. Cost of living is expensive in Oregon. Okay. Anyways, moving on. It had all these big vases and, um, <laughs> he's telling me about this, how he was 14 in the dream, like he is now. And he bought this house and then he, the realtor needed a parent signature for something because he was 14. So he came to me and was like, Hey, I bought a house and I need you to sign this for me. And then he said, the weird thing too is auntie, auntie, my sister showed up out of nowhere and was like, Hey, that's a really nice house. <laughs> and he's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and then, um, there was a midget, he said, that was hitting on me and he got super pissed off and wanted to beat this guy up. So <laughs> I don't know, this was his weird dream. And I'm like, you know, I recently had a dream that I came into money but in my dream, I only got, well, not only, it would be a significant amount of money, but I got $25,000. And what I did in my dream with that money is I went to this chiropractor that I watch on YouTube that I know he could change my life drastically. And he's in Texas. So I took my whole family there and Bob and the boys, and we all got adjustments. And then I took them on a vacation of their dreams. So that's what's going on with my life. These are my ATCs. I thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you had a great time and I hope you do some um, neurographic ATCs as well and give them a try. Until next time, bye.